The most powerful thing about magic is that it's the only honest profession, where the magician promises to deceive everyone and then he truly does it. But a free mind always fights to look beyond that sense of wonder. So, be it Mark Spellman's famous quote prediction trick, or Matt Edwards' funny salt trick, Hello and welcome back, and today we're going to figure out the top secrets behind the world's most famous magic tricks of all time. So, let's get started. At number 5, The Incredible Quote Prediction Trick Mark Spellman, the magician most famous for his amazing persona named Mr. X, made it all the way to the finals of Britain's Got Talent 2018 by performing this prediction act. Here's what he did. Mark first gives Simon a gift and a deck of cards consisting of quotes from inspirational people and asks him to pick one at random and to remember what it said. Thereafter, he gives both Amanda and Alicia a book each of inspirational quotes, and later gives David a copy of his own book named Mr. Stink. He then asks David to insert a bookmark somewhere in the middle of the book, at two different times, and tells Amanda and Alicia each to look at that page and their respective books and then hold it upright. Simon then reads out the last word, heart, written in his card, and that word matches exactly with her daughter's drawing in that envelope gifted to Simon. Finally, he shows everyone a pre-recorded footage, as Alicia reveals the author that she was thinking of was Gandhi. To stun everyone around, her daughter also went on to reply Gandhi in that pre-recorded footage Gandhi. when Mark asked her who he'd been painting for the last two years. Mark then mixes up the pieces of his Gandhi's painting as it then reveals the image of John Lennon, the same author which Amanda also revealed from her book. So, how did Mark correctly predict the judge's selection? Well, here's the secret. All the choices made by the judges in this act were forced onto them. Let's first look at Simon's choice. Here, Mark fans the deck and Simon says stop. Mark then places the chosen card in his hand. Now, the card was not a free choice, rather it was a forced selection trick, and here's how it was done. To force the card at the top of the deck, he first cuts the card, and in doing so, he applies a pinky break between the card he wants and the rest of the deck. For those of you who don't know pinky break, it's a technique used by card magicians to secretly mark a spot in a deck or slight lift it up. So he smartly holds a break at the back of the deck and conceals it from everyone, while from the front side it all looked normal. Then he starts fanning the deck and waits for Simon's signal to stop. Now Simon thinks that he'll hand him a random card at that stop position, but Mark here uses the break instead and cuts the deck with his preferred card now at the top. So it didn't matter where Simon made him to stop, as the magician would always give him the card under the break. And this is how Mark forced Simon to reveal the word heart to match her daughter's drawing. Moving on to the next part related to the books, how did he predict the correct personalities Gandhi and John Lennon? Now, some of you'd think that all the three books he brought along were gimmicked. Well, you're correct to some extent, but not totally. The only book which was prepared before the trick is the one which he gives to David. While the other two books, which Amanda and Alicia held in their hands, were normal books, otherwise they would have easily identified the trick as they held it for quite some time. Also before the act, Mark located exactly which pages Gandhi and Lenin were briefly mentioned in Amanda and Alicia's books. So he knew it was page number 106 for John Lennon in Amanda's book, and page number 155 for Gandhi in Alicia's book. But how did he force the judges to only pick those two pages? Well, the trick here lies in this Mr. Stink book which he gave to David. Yes, it was a gimmicked book, and all the pages inside were altered for this trick. Every left side page in that book was printed with page 106, while every right side page was page 155. Also, this was the reason why he used a bookmark as a prop for this part. So, after David places the bookmark, Mark uses it to block the other page, so that no one could see both page numbers at the same time. Now, if you notice, in this frame, every sentence on both the pages were identical, except the page numbers. So this confirms that the book was indeed altered. 
Finally, Gandhi and Lenin were revealed to amaze everyone around. At number 4, The Flying Box Illusion A true marvel, The Flying Box Illusion is an astonishing and surprising way of introducing a beautiful assistant. To see how the trick is performed, we'll go all the way to the Middle East on Arabs Got Talent. At the command of the magician, the huge box placed on a platform magically starts to move backwards and then come back into its original position. He even mysteriously rotates it slowly to the left and then to the right. In between, he shakes the box and some of the letters fall off. He then moves the remaining letters to magically reveal the word girl. Finally, the box levitates into the air and what do we see? A girl is lifted out of the box, thus impressing everyone around. So, how did he do it? Well, at first sight, you can see underneath and around the box, and there's simply nothing to see. So, how did the box float without the magician not laying his fingers on the box or anywhere else? The trick here lies in a mechanism placed inside the box. Yes, the box was supported by a steel structure behind it. That support structure was placed between the magician and the box. From the front side, everything looked magical as we couldn't see the support structure. Also, the vertical rod was disguised as the magician's leg, and here, when the box floats in the air, this is actually a fake leg covering the support rod. So, this is how the whole setup looks like. The magician has hidden his right leg behind the vertical support, and the support rod is covered using a black cloth and a shoe is placed in front so that it looks like the magician's leg. Now, the assistant rested herself onto that support platform built inside the box, and that box was free to rotate. This allowed the magician to rotate the box on either side or lift it up in the air using his hands or his hidden leg. And this is how he makes the girl to magically float inside the box. Coming to the part where he magically moves the letters on that box to form the word girl, how did he do that? Now, the first time around when he shakes the box, only four letters remain. Yes, those four letters, which can form the word girl, were held tightly onto that box using a magnet. So now you must have got it. The magnet was responsible for the movement of those four letters on that box to finally arrange and reveal the text girl. At number 3, The Amazing Salt Trick Matt Edwards performed an amazing act combining both humor and magic which ultimately got him the golden buzzer. Here's what he did. Matt begins his act by performing on a fabulous tequila soundtrack where he plays it all through his magical act. He first pours a glass of tequila and then picks up a can of salt and pours some amount of salt in his fist which then disappears from his hand. He then makes the salt reappear back again in his other hand, however, the salt did not stop falling from his hand. He then finally ends the act by proposing a toast to the judges and drank the shot of salted tequila. So, how did he do it? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. More than the magic part of the act, the way he presented himself on stage and made everyone laugh really stood out, as he made the most of his two minutes. The secret here lies in the thumb cap which Matt wears over his thumb. Yes, to make the salt appear and disappear from his hand, he used a gimmick thumb. Matt starts by moving his thumb onto the palm and then fisting his fingers around it. Then he gently takes out his thumb by leaving the thumb cap in his fist. So during this moment, the salt he pours is collected inside the fake thumb placed in his fist. Now to make the salt disappear from his left hand, using a quick sleight of hand, he brings that thumb into his right hand and holds it in his palms. The thumb cap is now in his right hand and the salt is present inside it. For his next move, how did he keep spilling out that much amount of salt from his hand? The salt comes out from the thumb he had concealed in his hand. But still, the amount of salt that he spills was quite a lot. Well, to keep spilling out the salt, he had another gimmick finger, and during the moment when he pours the salt from the can, there was another finger to store the salt, and he had it concealed from everyone. Finally, he raises a toast and drinks the salted tequila to end this amazing act. 
At number 2, The Sword Stabbing Illusion The Impalement by Sword is one of the most spectacular illusions in all of magic. For sheer drama, it's a tough one to beat. First, the magician places the girl on tip of the sword and then freely rotates her for a while. Moments later, the sharp tip of the sword goes right through her body, leaving us all in total disbelief. He then magically lifts her up as the girl safely gets off the sword to amaze everyone around. So, how did she survive this dangerous act? Well, here's the secret. The trick looks quite terrifying and you should never try this at home or anywhere else. Now, the secret lies in the special back support hidden under the girl's dress. Also, the back support has a small slot to hold the sword inside it. In addition, the sword is custom built and strong enough to hold the girl's weight and lift her up whenever needed. So when the magician places her on the sword, the sharp tip of the sword collapses and hides inside its bottom part, which eventually enters the hole in the back support. This makes the girl to balance easily in the air, and the sheer strength of the sword makes her to rotate freely. The girl also wore a special device strapped onto her stomach, so at this very moment, a fake sword from the device appears through her stomach that creates the shocking illusion of a sword going straight through her. So finally, moving on to the last trick in our list, the blindfolded mentalism trick. Emily and Tommy, the pair famously known as the Clairvoyants, have performed some amazing mentalism tricks all over the world. In their audition act on America's Got Talent, Tommy asks Heidi for her handbag and tells her to check if everything's fair and there's nothing hidden in Emily's ear or anywhere else. Emily then blindfolds herself and sits on the swing while Heidi picks out a random item from her bag. Emily then correctly guessed the number written on the lipstick that Heidi had picked out. She even proceeds to correctly guess the network provider of the iPhone taken from a random audience member. AT and lastly, the expiry date of Howie's eyedrop. So, how did she magically describe all those objects? Well, there are many ways by which a person can communicate with the other person without talking and seeing anything. Now, most of the methods involve hiding a camera or transmission device near the neck area or under the clothes. Here, it didn't work out as the judges were rightly informed to check if there's any hidden device. So, the most efficient way they communicated with each other is by Morse code. Now, you think, what exactly is Morse code? It's a method of transmitting text characters such as a sequence of two different signal durations called dots and dashes. The signals can be a series of on-off tones, long and short duration clicks, which can be easily understood by a skilled mentalist. So, for every object, Tommy controlled a wireless transmitter which sent out Morse code of that particular object. Now, Emily also had a wireless receiver and she was highly efficient in reading the Morse code and decoding it quickly. Here, the receiver would vibrate long and short pulses according to the received Morse code. Then, Emily would decode it in her mind and find out the exact information about any object. For instance, at this moment, when the guy pressed the middle button on the iPhone so Tommy can see what provider the spectator is using and then relays this information via Morse code. But still, where exactly did they hide those devices? Well, Tommy transmits to the vibrating device via his shoes. Yes, there's an implant in his shoes where the transmitter was hidden. Also, there was a control button placed in that shoe and he could tap it with his toe to either send a long or short signal. Here, you can even see Tommy moving his toes to send out the Morse code of that lipstick to Emily. But Heidi thoroughly checked Emily and didn't find any receiving device, so where was it hidden then? For the trick to work, the swing on which Emily sat down played its part. Yes, the receiver was installed in that swing and vibrated the chair for every code sent out, which made this amazing act possible. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind some of the world's most famous magic tricks. Which trick did you like the most? The prediction trick? The flying box illusion? The salt trick? Or the mentalism trick? And name any other magic trick you would like us to reveal. Tell us in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, 
Thanks for watching.